It is FC Dallas and Vancouver Whitecaps meeting for the second time in the span of a month. Vancouver the first touch of the ball to kick things off. When they met one month ago, Vancouver scored on a penalty kick by Lucas Cavallini and stoppage time. On the wrong side of the scoreline against Vancouver one month ago. Now, Mark, for me, it's just one of the reasons FC Dallas. I got a chance here. Christian Dahomey from Denver to Caicedo. Dahomey and FC Dallas has got numbers behind. Here's Cavallini. A shot and it was deflected by Paz but it's in off the post. And a very early chance produces a second minute goal for Vancouver. Takes Dahomey out of the play, but then Cavallini follows it up. Steven scores. Well, Mark, you you were just talking about the rust, and that's just a complete breakdown in, in, in all kinds of different ways. Vancouver you got a runner getting in behind Martinez. Not quite sure what he's doing over there on that side where uh, he goes into far right should be, and then chance to clear the ball, and, you know, you know runners in behind you. Uh, soccer deserves credit. Uh, they've done a great job diversity-wise from right up from the New York headquarters all the way down to referees. We'll get back to that point in a minute, but here's a giveaway by Vancouver. It was lost by... Christian Dahomey, part of that build-up build for the goal. Here's Godinho maneuvering his way into space. Godinho with the layoff, and it's set up for a shot attempt. That ends up just wide, maybe grazing a little bit of the post on that attempt. He hits this one at about uh, 28 yards, and... It did catch part of the post, Steve. It did, and I was trying to see if uh, Martin Paz... He's born in Argentina, but... His father's from Paraguay, so he's playing for their national team. Here's Ferreira's in. Ferreira, a chance and a kick save by Cody Cropper. On that right center channel. It's a terrific ball from McCosey. Going to be sent into the box bowl by Velasco, but it's headed right back out, and it puts Cervania in an opportunity to shoot it. Way off target. And then three in the second half. One by Franco Hara, two by Paul Ariola, who has the ball at his feet right now, and will go for goal. And it's wide from about 25 yards out. Chance here for FC Dallas, Pomacall. Pushed it forward to Velasco. Velasco in a 1v1 against Javane Brown. Trying to cross it. Blocked by Brown. Javane Brown reaches it. By the way, Paxton Pomacall just summoned back onto the field. So good to see that everything is A-OK -okay with Paxton. Brown. Tussling with Tumasi, won the ball in the corner, then charges. They close down Cervania. After it was sent to him by Marco Farfan. Farfan now will cross it in. And here's a chance. And that chance by Ferreira is blasted over. Coming forward, Goudinho. And that challenge by Facundo Kinniel not only is going to lead to a free kick, but we'll see him booked. Tavari, Martinez, and Velasco, the trio that make up the wall. Is it going to be Tom Cavallini? It's a goal, though, as Caicedo takes it. Oh, and Vancouver at the beginning of the first half and the end of the first half, they book into the half with goals. On that side of the wall, he's the shortest player on the field. That was going to give an opportunity for Caicedo or whoever hit it to do just that right there. And Velasco didn't jump. In the 44th minute. You know, giving up free kicks in dangerous areas has been a problem. Most of them, uh, they either scored the goal or assisted. Had to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Marco Farfan. Farfan might be lucky there. It is a yellow card. It looks like it's uh, Franco Hara in for Brandon Cervania. Yeah, Texas Hill Sports guy, Medicine yeah. substitution. Hara for Cervania. Velasco, another giveaway. So what this does is puts Har as the number nine, and Ferreira will drop into the hole. Wins a physical challenge. Got the ball back to FC Dallas. Har to Tumasi. First time cross. Headed away. And sent back in here by Pomacol. Tristan Blackman will clear it for Vancouver. Again, and Kosi Tafari up the right side. Tafari was a late insertion into the starting lineup. And had just trained with the starting group yesterday, but a shin injury, we're told, is the player who was hit in the face is the player who was called for a foul prior to being hit in the face. You know, I kind of wondered if something like this was going to happen at some point. 
league games. And all of them have been in games against Sporting Kansas City. Paul McCall behind Ferreira. Velasco's going to reach this. Velasco, first time cross off a defender. Possibility of an own goal, but... He's lost his step, but was never the fastest to begin with. You see it right there. Yeah, missed a chance to slow up Ferreira. Ferreira will spray it to the outside. Tomasi to the right. He packs it. Paul McCall, good cross! Oh! And headed over by Franco Hara. But the finish was just a slight bit off target. That's a really good ball clipped in there by Paxton Pomichol, and Hara just can't quite get up high enough to head that ball down. Cody Cropper got out in a bad spot. He was exposed. Hara just couldn't put it over him. I'll Ske have to look. The sketchy clearance. And here is a ball whipped in and headed wide. Chance for Oriola and headed wide. Luis Martins has just come into the game for Vancouver. Ariola to Velasco in space. Velasco winding up a shot blocked by Jungwerth. And Velasco, I was about to say that looked like another run out of ideas moment, but he ends up winning a free kick. Quick restart for FC Dallas. Ariola crossing, and he got it too close to Cody Cropper. Hara was the target. That giveaway by Javane Brown. Ariola, nice square ball to Ferreira. Ferreira taking time to shoot it and just off target. Good ball here by Ferreira. Doesn't reach Ariola, but it's going to be held in here by Marco Farfan. To Ariola, cutting into the right foot. And his attempt is blocked by Jermaine Brown. I'll tell you somebody else has been good in the second half is Ferreira. Look at that ball. Nice one to Hunter O'Brien. O'Brien cut back. Oh, and a shot taken first time. And a great opportunity for Franco Hara. That would have been target, but it just is barely off target. Now Dallas just hasn't brought their shooting boots tonight. I mean, off to the left side to Alan Velasco. Velasco cutting in. Taking away his shooting angles. Now there's an opportunity for Ariola. Dumps it right into a Vancouver player. Even if FC Dallas were to scratch out a goal now. There's just not enough time. Here's a shot that's deflected. Proper trying to keep it in play before conceding the corner kick, but it will be. Had a lot of empty net to shoot at, but he was quickly closed down by Vancouver defenders. And the game is over.